Hello everyone. Of course you know who I am. I'm John Doerr right here in Tokyo, Japan. And we're going to another edition of the da -da -da, Ghost Letters Report. Now, <laughs> something quite interesting happened recently in the Japanese Diet. It was a kind of a parliament, congress, somewhere. When the current Communist Party chairman, Kazuo she, during a question and answer uh, debate on the floor of the Diet, um, asked this question and related to the, the topic of the, of the debate, which was the Prime Minister's perception of war. And Shiki, she asked whether Abe would admit that Japan was wrong to have fought that war, referring to Japan's acceptance of the uh, Potsdam Declaration in 1945 after Japan was defeated in World War II. Abe's answer is literally mind blowing. He replied, As I have not read the permanent section of the Potsdam Declaration closely, I would like to refrain from commenting on it now. Get this. Abe, the Prime Minister of Japan, said on the floor of the Diet during a debate concerning his perception of war, said, I've never read the Potsdam Declaration. Now maybe you don't know about the Potsdam Declaration, but it was basically what established Japan as we know it today. It's not that really long, actually, but it lays down the conditions for allowing Japan to re-enter the global sphere. And it basically established Japan as not having a military anymore and being very peaceful and giving up war in general. In so many words, it says. And Abe has never read this. Now, if he's never read this, I have to assume that his perception of war is very skewed, and also must assume that he knows almost nothing about the horrors of the Japanese Imperial Army in his pursuit of imperialist conquest and expansion had upon the world. And just a dark, ugly time that was for Japan. This type of ignorance just plays into the whole right-wing fascist direction that Abe keeps pushing Japan in. Yeah. And to give you what I think is the probably the most poignant as relates to Abe and his current policies in the direction of the Potsdam Declaration. It's um, section 11 or point 11 where it says, Japan shall be permitted to maintain such industries as will sustain her economy and permit the exaction of just reparations in kind, but not those which would enable her to rearm for war. To this end, access to, as distinguished from control of, raw material shall be permitted. Eventual Japanese participation in world trade relations shall be permitted. I think that's the section of the Potsdam Declaration that Abe really doesn't want to admit that he's read. Because what that basically says is that one of the main conditions for Japan to re-enter the rest of the world is that you'll never do anything to arm yourself for war. Especially economically. This is very exact here. It talks about economics. You can do everything as far as in the industry any way you want, as much as you want, but it can't be related to war. Since Abe's come to power, he's broken this condition. For Japan to be part of the rest of the world. 
uh, one of the big biggest things relating to industry based on is that he's uh, lifted the ban on Japanese weapon manufacturers to sell weapons outside of Japan which means to sell weapons to other nations that's a clear violation of the Potsdam Declaration you know you cannot have industries that are designed to rearm for war now the reason they have an armed industry in Japan even in the first place is to maintain the self-defense force now the self-defense force does fall under the conditions of the Potsdam Declaration and Japan must be able to defend itself you can't have Japan completely unarmed you know but Japan can't do anything for war and having these industries the weapons industry in Japan sell things overseas you know that's a clear violation you know that 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 means Japan can sell things to other countries and other countries can sell weapons to Japan yeah but you know another point where I finish this video up, I don't want to make too much longer that, you know, we have all these opposition, smaller opposition parties in Japan, and a few large ones, and none of them have dared ask this type of question. Dared ask Abe, does he know even the basics of Jap Japan's history of war and his perception of war? It took the chairman of the Japanese Communist Party to ask this type of question. And they get Abe to give this type of answer. So I thought this was interesting. I think that happened. And I thought I'd bring it out to, up to you guys. And I want to hear what all you guys think of this. Do you think Abe is actually this ignorant? Do you think it was good that the, the chairman of the Communist Party asked this question? And what do you think this means for Japan going forward when you have a prime minister? But doesn't even know the basics, the foundations that created modern Japan. Please leave your comments in the comment box below of this video. If you really like this video, please subscribe. It's the first time you've seen me. There's lots of stuff like this on this channel, plus um, protest videos and other surprises that show up. Um, please share it around if you really like it. And as always, this is me, John Dole, from Tokyo, Japan. Check it out.